I'm sorry, you're gonna be seeing this a lot in the video. Wait, I just like stop saying what I'm gonna you see that that's what I'm talking about. <sighs> just bear with me. It's 12.23 and we're going to church and I might go to a concert. It's like, can you just sit down in the room and hear a gospel song? I'm going to yeah, a concert, a gospel concert. What? I'm going to a concert. Why do you sit down in the room and you listen to like, somebody just sing? Yeah, singing a gospel song just sounds like so nice. Especially like when your family is just talking and you're listening. Duh. Yeah, guys. So make sure you stay tuned. Your time to shine Do not hold it back anymore I 
Africa rise. No holding back anymore. The Lord has called you to stand tall. For the Lord. Let's get started. As you can see, I have a little mic now. I think this might make the like sound better, I guess. But yeah, it might make the sound better. And I got a path, so yeah. So, on the previous chapter, that's the previous chapter. Previous page. Mm -mm, I don't know. In the previous video, I was talking about. God's grace. In the, I'll put it right here. I made four points. No, six points. Six points. And I was basically saying that the first point. So recap. The first point was don't be discouraged, but rather be still and walk in God's grace. And second one is God will clean up the things that don't belong in the path of righteousness. So don't worry about it. And he will lead. He will lead. He will, he will lead you and he wants to lead you in righteousness. And the fourth one is live in his ways, not yours. And your path will be followed by goodness and his mercy will clean up those footsteps that have gone in the wrong direction. And the fifth one was his grace will follow you all your life. And by his grace, you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I think it was last week I made the first video. Don't remember. I think so. Guys, bear with me because sometimes I'll be forgetting stuff. So what I've been learning is that <clears throat> the first point, again, what I've 
what I've been able to see in God's grace this past week and this week. Yeah, that's just starting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Th yes, this week that's just starting. There's one. Well, yeah, this is from last week. God's grace is given in full, and you don't have to continually feel like you're not qualified because his grace is sufficient. So the first point, right? The first point was like from the other preach. Don't be discouraged, but rather be still and walk in God's grace. And honestly, like it's easier said than done. Like you could read it like, oh, yeah, don't be discouraged. That's easy. Well, for some people, yeah. But there are moments where, like, you definitely get discouraged because, like, you're you're doing something for God and you're getting all these attacks and thoughts. When you get discouraged, like, don't run away from God because we tend we tend to do that. If like when you get discouraged, you either run to you run back to worldly music. Or you run back to that person that you know you're not supposed to be talking to. And you run back to the old things. Like, that's not what you want to be doing. Because, you know, you're just feeding your flesh when you need to feed your spirit. So, I was able to learn that God's grace is given in full. Which means it can never run out. Like, it, it can never run out. So... That was something that was like learning. You don't have to continually feel like you're not qualified for God's grace. When Jesus is the one who gives us the grace. He literally died so that you can live because of his grace for you. He, God gave you his son, Jesus Christ. And that shows his love for you. And So the card is full in the camera. So... We have the transforms here. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been learning. Like, God's grace is really given in full. And there's no way you cannot receive God's grace. Because he gives it in full. And, like, you have to think about it. Like, in the Old Testament, they did have grace. They did. But, like, the way that we have it now is just, like, wow. Like, and the second point I've, I was learning last week is your ways will not prevail over God's. So just give it, just give up. All, just give up your ways. And it is better to quit on your ways than it is to continue to think that my ways are better than God, God's ways. And then, yeah, you're not going to succeed. And you're not going to last. Your ways is not going to last. Like, it's going to become a burden. Because, one, you're trying to fight God by saying, I don't want to go, I don't want to do your ways. I want to go my ways. And it's going to become frustrating. Because this is from experience. Like, sometimes I would think my ways are better than God's ways. Just know that God's ways are better. And you will not prevail over God's ways. But the more you trust in him and trust in his ways, you're like, wow, like this God's way is more better. You see the benefits in God's ways. And sometimes like you think that God is being mean or God is being like not difficult, but you think he's taking joy from you because he's telling you not go to go here or to do this. But in fact, he's doing it because he loves you. Like, he's seeing something that you don't see. And he's, he understands something that you don't understand. And that's the thing about God. Like, he knows more than we do. And that's, like, that's connected to the next point. The Holy Spirit has been here longer than you. So don't think you know more than the Holy Spirit. If he's telling you not to do this, don't do it. And yeah, I'm learning now to like really just submit and surrender to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has been here longer than you. And he knows more than you. Like he's not on you. Like he's been here before you. Literally. The beginning and the end. But yeah. 
and the next point is it's a process so don't rush and like this is really for me but you know if if you relate to this then yeah but it's a process so don't rush and don't be hard on yourself again this is this one's for me but yeah, it's a process and like these points honestly when i wrote it i thought i was gonna get through all of this i was gonna like do it like that why am i like that but yeah it's just like you have to really understand that it's a process like every day is, is gonna be a day to practice these things um, yeah just use these days to apply to apply god's word and just apply the things that he teaches you to do you know and tells you to do like don't just do it one day and say oh that's it like the more you sow the more you will reap and i've been learning that when you sow something for example anger you're gonna reap anger when you sow joy you're gonna reap joy so it's just like you have to be careful what you sow and especially in your mind like that's your mind is really like yeah, your mind is really important and it's where like your thoughts come comes in and comes out you have to be careful with the thoughts that you invite and entertain it's really important yeah so yeah it's a process so don't rush that don't mean don't try don't rush and the next point i've that was i learned is where i've been learning last week is God is not angry when you confess your sin. He wants you to, to confess. And it's better than hiding your sin. Because sometimes when we do something bad, we like, we try to hide. And God doesn't want that. He wants us to come to him. He knows already. And that's the thing. Like, he already knows what you did. He just wants you to come and confess it. It's really good to confess. Because one, you just get it out of your chest. And two, like, God gives you the kindness to um, to repent. When you confess your sin, then you repent. And yeah, by God's kindness, like that's the thing. Because of God's kindness, you can repent. I forgot what verse it is, but I might like pop it up, you know. It's because of God's kindness we're able to repent. Like, don't be afraid to confess what you've done to God. And it's only God who can forgive you. Yes, I mean, yeah, if you could, if you do something to somebody, they can forgive you. But God, he forgives you of all that sin that you've been holding on to. I'm telling you, don't think that you're too impure to come to God. Because God, he chose us. He chose to love us. So, don't you think he would know, like, everything that you did and are going to do? He would not have called you. He would... He would have not chosen you. He would not first loved you. If he knew, oh, she's like this. Oh, he's like that. He loves you. He he created you. <laughs> you are a part of God. We're created in God's image. Yeah. And it's, it's better than hiding your sin. God wants you to share, confess it. Like, the more you confess your sin, the more you can trust God. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. The more you confess your sin, the more you can trust God. Oh, yeah, we're learning something in my class. It's about, like, um, my, my bio med class. It's about um, demeanor, tact, and empathy. It's basically how, like, the doctors, they get, they make their patients comfortable. And they basically, like, say things that will make the patient comfortable. And they have empathy with the patients. And they, like, use tactics to make the... To deliver messages to the patients so that they won't, like... Because if somebody's dying, you won't tell them, Oh, you dying. You got one day to live. That's it. You done. No. There's a way to communicate that without making the person feel, like, Wow, like I only have two days to live. Like, so yeah, so basically the doctor finds a way to communicate with the patient. If you are a doctor that's just like, don't really get to know your patients and show that 
you, they can be comfortable with you, they're gonna close up. They're not. They're not gonna wanna. Like they're not gonna wanna talk to you. Cause if you're helping somebody, you should literally like not literally. You should find it in your heart and to like get to know the person and make them feel comfortable. Cause at the end of the day, they're coming to you. They're taking the time of their day to come to you and ask you for help and guidance. So yeah, dang, like the Holy Spirit. <laughs> yeah, he's too good. Okay, um, and the this is what one, two, three, four, five, six. The sixth one, you you'll you'll eventually get it. Just be obedient. Yeah. So what I've learned is like. Every time I struggle through something or struggling with something, I would think I will, I'm gonna be here forever. Like, there's no way for me out. There's no way out for me. What? Yeah, when you're struggling with something, when you're going through a season, you feel like, where is, like, yeah, you feel like, where is God and stuff? And God is, like, literally, like, with you. But yeah, you're, you'll eventually get it. Just know that if you're going through a season right now, you're you're gonna get it. Just just be obedient and really look to God. Look to Him, cause you're literally <laughs> you're eventually get it. And the last point is God is there even in the moments you feel like He's not. He's there, and it was a video I was watching Tim Ross. And he was praying. He was like, God, um, I don't know the exact words, but I'm just going to paraphrase. It's like, God, if you don't, um, no, no, no. God, help, help, help them to, to know that even in the moments that it felt like you were not there or understand, I think their pain, help them to know that you were there in that moment of them feeling like that. Not just like, wow, like. Even in the moments I feel like God is not there or he he he's not hearing me, he is. And I, yeah, God hears everything. Everything. He understands everything. He literally came down and became human. That's how much he understands. He literally came in human form so that he can understand us. Not that he did, he didn't understand us like in you know, his own form. God has like many forms. God has many forms. He's not limited to the form. Just know that. I'm not saying there's gods. There's one God. One true God. But God can do anything he wants, you know? So, yeah. That's the last point. He's He's there even in moments you feel like he's not there, you know? And, guys, I really hope that you learned something from this. And that, you know, continue to help sister out. And... We're in this together. Yeah. Oh, guys. This is the end of the video. Yeah, again. This is like, yeah. I don't even know where I was going. I just forgot what I was going. I'm sorry, you're gonna be seeing this a lot in the video. Wait, I just like, stop saying what I'm gonna you see that that's what i'm talking about <sighs> just bear with me yeah again tell me like what y'all want to see on the, on the, on the... <sighs> and um oops. yeah i just hope that you guys like are inspired by it. like really take in what's in this video videos Yeah, uh, <laughs> soccer. Keep supporting. Doesn't take a lot. To okay. Okay. Stay tuned. Yeah, my nose. Stay tuned. And um, thank you for watching the video. I need a better outro because.